Hey guys, in this next video, we're starting a new series called Work With Me, where we're giving you a behind the scenes look at our actual process on working on projects. In this video, in the next video after that, it's a project for ourselves, for Butler. In future videos, you're gonna see us working on actual client projects. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so today I, don't have a specific plan outside of I know exactly what I want to accomplish. I didn't put a lot of time into preparation for how this video is going to go. So this is just going to be a literal work session uh, that you're joining me on today. So I I'd planned out this, this time for me to literally just do this as a project that I needed to do because it's been bugging the crap out of me. Um, and we thought it'd be a good idea to let you guys kind of see how it works. And so it might be embarrassing because it's gonna be very rough and very uh, free flowing. What I wanna do today is show you how to wireframe a landing page and um, a funnel sequence. And this is something we do all the time for our clients, but I have a problem for one of my own funnels and for my own landing page. As a lot of you guys know, uh, we are a full service branding and marketing agency. We offer uh, creative and marketing services to our clients, um, but we also have this secondary service, which is serving creative entrepreneurs. And this is basically how to scale, uh, grow and manage your creative uh, business from the perspective of a growing creative business. So we were basically pulling back the cover of Butler Branding, show you guys how to do exactly what we do uh, and how we've been able to grow and how we're able to manage all of our clients and projects. And so what I did was I, I created a course uh, called the Butler Box. And basically it's everything that I've learned since starting the, the agency in 2012 and uh, all the struggles that we've had. So you could learn from my pain and my mistakes and not have to learn the hard way the way I had to learn. And, and we basically broke up the Butler Box, which again is everything that I've learned into five courses. There's brand positioning, uh, marketing, sales, uh, uh, brand strategy, and project management. And then you could buy each of those courses individually or you could buy them as a bundle. The problem is that we've created the content. Uh, I think the content is good, but we put it up on a landing page and I've hated my landing page for a long time. It's just kind of there. Um, you know, our primary source of leads to this is from our YouTube channel. We've run a few ads to it, um, but you know, we, we're not really focusing on that. We're, we're really focusing on, um, on managing our actual client accounts. This is just something kind of like on the side. And, and this is something that I do want to, uh, to focus a lot more attention on. I want to get the content out there, um, but I really don't like our landing page. And so just like we solve client problems uh, by, you know, strategy and wireframing and all these things, I, I said, we need to do this for myself and so like I, I wanted to carve this time out to to do a wireframe of like how I'm going to redesign our own landing page but it's not just the landing page it's the follow-up sequence and and how we're getting leads from the landing page and, and what kind of content are we going to uh, follow up with after that um, is it just going to be trying to sell courses or do we have free content it's just like all these things and so um, literally all I've done so far is uh, you know, usually I wouldn't do this, you know, with a setup with a monitor and a, a whiteboard. I'll do this from my own desk with just a piece of paper. Um, but so you guys can see it on the whiteboard. I've listed out two things. One is the problems that I'm trying to solve and then my requirements list. So the problems that I see with my current landing page, uh, it's th there's a confusing layout. Uh, I feel like the design is cluttered. There's a, uh, an unclear hierarchy of content. And there really is no final sequence of like how people are going to, going to land on this page, the content that they're going to be uh, followed up with, no email um, sequences after uh, generating a lead if people choose to not buy the products and they want to take advantage of free content. All of that kind of stuff is missing. So those are the problems. Um, in light of the problems, there's some requirements that I have to have for the landing page. So before I, I draw out any kind of wireframe, I need to uh, list down the requirements that this landing page has to have. And so. I wanna add a value proposition, an elevator pitch, um, a video, there's a video explaining what it is, um, our story. I want to list out the courses, there's five courses, and then uh, the bundle, and then have uh, CTA just stands for call to action, have call to a calls to action on each one of these things, a link to the shop, because there are certain things that we do sell on the site that um, are not courses, like stickers and posters and, and other things like that. Um, social proof, we have some testimonials uh, and then have a call to action there. 
Um, I offered coaching. I was offering group coaching. Now we're offering one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, I, I do want to give away some free resources, which is one of the things that is missing um, on the current landing page. And then also YouTube and social links. Our, our main source of traffic to the site is actually from our YouTube channel. And it's just funny that like there is no real clear indication that we have a YouTube channel where that's, again, it's a primary focus. So here's the, the current landing page that we have. And you know, it's not terrible, it's just not great. Um, I, I think the messaging is kind of clear, literally everything. The Butler box is everything you need to level up and run your creative agency. It includes all the sales tactics, strategy frameworks, proposal templates, processes, and trade secrets for use at Butler Branding for just $9.97. When people see this, that's the very first thing they see. It's like an anchor price, which I get. Um, but I think that price, uh, when they see that, it confuses them. There, there's no clear indication, a hierarchy of content saying that this 997 is actually the bundle. That's all of the courses together. I think that th there's not a clear distinction between what the Butler box is and what the individual courses are. And so we have this video, but I'm just assuming everybody's watching it when that's not necessarily the case. And they're also not reading all this content. Here's our social proof, which is literally just a, a screenshot of a, a single testimony. It wasn't even a testimony, it was just someone who um, texted me. And um, you know, we have a lot more uh, testimonials that we need to share on here. Um, and again, 997, there's no indication that there's other bundles here. It shows what's in the Butler box, which is just a screen recording of me. Again, I'm assuming people are watching that. And then very at the very bottom, it's like, you know, here they are. And it's just a lot of content. It's just cluttered. I, we, we could do a lot better. So the two things I've done so far, again, requirements list and problems. The other thing that I like to do is do kind of like a competitive audit. And so if I'm doing this for a client, um, I'll look at their competition. I'll see, um, you know, who, who's doing uh, good things and, and what maybe gaps we're filling. But I also don't want to fall, uh, go completely away from what the, the norm or the standard is. And so I, I pulled up two, uh, not necessarily competitors, but two um, sites that I really like that they're doing what we're doing. They're selling courses. One of them is from uh, my coach, Chris Doe. Uh, a lot of you guys know who the future is. Uh, in fact, I got this hat from uh, my recent visit to Santa Monica when we went over to uh, the future headquarters. It's very much like a I'm just man. taping your purse. And so what I'm doing here is I'm just looking at their, their website. I know they recently went through a redesign. This is actually um, a link to their shop. <clears throat> their homepage is, uh, is a little bit different. And so I'm not gonna necessarily copy their layout, but I do wanna see what they're doing and see if there's any insights that I could glean because why reinvent the wheel? If someone's doing something great, then um, you know, maybe you can um, get inspired by that. So they have their mission statement in here, the one billion mission. Right, and so they're starting with their mission, and it knows who I am because I put in my name here, which is kind of cool. Uh, they have a bunch of free content. Now, my, my thing here is like, this is the Futures brand website. They're not necessarily trying to sell you on anything right when you get here, where that's a little bit different than what we're doing because the whole purpose of the um, agency scaling website is to sell the course. And so they, uh, I, I feel like ours would be more close to like what would they have going down over here, which I like the way these are. One thing I'm noticing right from the get-go is their visual engagement is a lot better than ours, right? So if you look at the, uh, the courses that we have, it's got these little icons, which are whatever. Um, they're very generic, right? Over here, they have some really cool visuals to go with each of their courses and this little, hover effect that expands the content. So they see stylescapes and the price, very simple, hover over it, and then it shows the explanation and you could buy now or learn more. I really like that. So I'm probably gonna steal some of that uh, in, as inspiration for our design. I'm gonna go to, you yeah, see, look, they have social, social links. I'm gonna go to their shop page and see what they have going on over here. Okay, so I like, how they have courses and resources and they have a clear navigation. Now, the future has a lot more content than we do. They have several different courses. I literally have five courses and I don't see myself in the near future going anywhere past that, at least for a while. Um, I just wanna get our first five courses and then the bundle sold out. But they have it broken down into business resources, creative skills, business skills, personal development. Ours would fall more under like the business skills. So let's see what they have going on under here. So they have the negotiation course 
pro practical project management, core discovery, managing money. So yeah, they have a very clean layout. I mean, just very simplistic navigation. It's just they're they're showing their courses right, you know, right there. And then underneath here, uh, there's a link to the Future Pro Group, uh, which is like their their kind of inner circle. Um, boot camp, area for suggestions. That's it, right? And I'm surprised there's no uh, social proof on this page. All right, so. I feel like I got enough inspiration from this. I wanna to go to the second competitor, which is again, is not a competitor because we're in um, different fields, but it's one that uh, our videographer, Naaman, turned me on to. He showed me their landing page and I thought it was really cool. And it's a course on how to make and sell courses. It's called Course Creator Pro. And very clear um, hero section, how I generate uh, 250,000 a month selling online courses. And he has a little video, which, I like that. And then boom, yes, I want to join the free training. So he's not asking for a sale right up front. He's asking, uh, it, this is a very clear kind of funnel sequence where, um, you know, it's like a webinar training and then probably leads to, you know, a few other steps, which I, I totally respect. He has some more content here. Learn how to script and film and edit professional videos. So this is just like an ex explanation of what's included in the course, which is kind of cool. And so I think that's one of the things I need to add to my requirements list is uh, not just the courses and the bundle, but what's included. So yeah, sometimes when I'm looking at uh, different competitive websites, I'm, I'm gleaning ideas and, and seeing what I could add to my requirements list. And it's kind of funny, he has a, a screenshots from people who are uh, giving testimonials, which is, again, it's kind of what I have. I just have the one. Um, and so maybe it's not such a bad thing. Have a sneak peek. Again, he's that call to action to the webinar. So, so far, he's not selling anything. And then boom, right here, there's the course. Uh, and then he's got a discount. You know, so do I want to lead with a discount or just show the price? He's got what the, the course includes. Join now, he's got his 30 day money back guarantee, which is another thing I need to include because I do offer that. And so I need to put here is our guarantee. And then there you go, that's it. Very simple landing page. Okay, so I've got inspired, I've looked at the, competitive audit and now I'm looking back at mine and I've identified the problem. So now I'm just going to go straight to, to drawing. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Click subscribe if you want to see more content like that. And if you are a creative entrepreneur and you want to grow your business, learning from my mistakes, check out agency.butlerbranding.com. We're giving away a free video on the five things we learned to grow, scale, and manage our creative business.